Hello. So the world has shut down. Let's bake. This is my new kitchen. Um, it came with the new apartment, so that's fortunate. Today we're going to make something which I don't even think many Danes know that much about. And if you do, you are my new favorite person. It's called Rosenbrød, or directly translated, roast bread. Um, and it's very nostalgic to me. Um, as uh, some of you may know, I live in Jylland, uh, the big nose dude part of the country. But I was indeed birthed on Shilland, um, the little scared guy part of the country, and also don't ask, you don't want to know what I call Fyn. Anyway, when we all lived on Shilland, uh, my grandpa on my dad's side always gave me these thickly cut, fluffy, cake-ish bread with the icing on top, and uh, they were called Rosenbrød. And when we moved to Yulan, the, nobody knew what that was. We can't get them anywhere here, um, and so I haven't had them in a very long time. Naturally, these uh, cake bread things are also very nostalgic to my brother, and so his girlfriend baked some for him, and uh, he approved. So, here we are. First, you need to grab your bowl. Um, this is my favorite one because it's black, like 90% of my soul. The other 10% is pink, but she rarely comes out. You need to start with 500 grams of flour. The recipe just tells you to use regular uh, wheat flour, but Rege, my brother's girlfriend, told me that they will get a bit more fluffy with uh, cake flour. So that's what we're using today. The more fluff, the better. This is where my um, perfectionist gene kind of screws me over every time. Oh, that's close. Damn it! You see, now I'm kind of screwing myself over because I didn't pay attention to the directions of the recipe. <laughs> you see, this is uh, definitely one of the things that makes me hate baking. Sifting. A word I just learned today. And, like, what the fuck's the point, guys? I guess that's the point. But, look, they disappear anyway. Like, oh, what? Riveting content do you have on the channel, Louise? Sifting! I'm probably saying that wrong. I've never heard anybody say that word before. I promise you it's not a thing. It's just to mock me. Ah, look, look at that. Look at the difference. It's almost like I didn't sift it. Hey, now you have to sift. Two tablespoons of sugar and a half teaspoon of salt. And you must not forget the salt. I once forgot like one teaspoon of salt in um, in some cookies I had to bake. Horrible. Who's to blame for all this sifting? Carol fucking Baskin. Why? Is that what is, is that why we're sifting? To prevent the bigger pieces of sugar to go into the bowl. <sighs> now we need to dissolve 50 grams of yeast into three daisy liters of lukewarm milk. Watch me as I turn cold milk into lukewarm milk. We gotta get the yeast. Now we wait. Why don't we get this on camera after we're done? We clean it all up as well. That's a video I'll watch every day. I think we're ready. This needs to be completely dissolved before we put it into the other bowl. I really, really love the smell of yeast and um, I feel like that's illegal. Again, this also takes time. Everything in baking takes such a long time. Like every time you find a recipe in baking, you're like, oh, only four steps. But each step takes freaking six hours. I don't need to sift this. <laughs> oh, honey, it's been half an hour. Oh no. You see, now I just put hand sanitizer on and I have to put my hands into this and I feel like that's illegal. Honestly, this is also one of the things which makes me remember why I hate baking. Like, how are you... The entire thing is stuck to my hands. I 
I could buy a food mixer worth the cost of my firstborn and then make it take up all the remaining counter space I have. But then again, my brain tells me that I have two hands. And I can't argue with that. This was a lot easier to get off than I thought it would be. Seriously, a lot easier. Did I forget something? Okay, now we need to let it rise for 30 minutes because everything in baking takes time and patience. So, I have made an error. Looking at the instructions, I had to put 50 grams of butter in before I put the uh, yeast milk in. So we are going to do that right now. I have no idea if it's going to make a difference, but uh, do as I say and not as I do, okay? Pro baking people just losing their shit over my actions right now. I've forgotten another thing. What? It's been half an hour. I have to put my hands into the dough again now. Make sure the butter gets into <laughs> the dough. If your dumbass made the same mistake as I did. Oh no. Oh no. It looks weird. Okay, it's starting to look like regular dough again. So I always do this because I saw my mom do this when I was a child, so it wouldn't stick to the counter. Now you need to knead the dough until it's nice and firm. I feel like I have a good flow right now. You need to part the dough into two rectangles because out of all this, we need to make two pieces of bread. You can't really make them too slim because uh, when they're done, you'll have to cut them this way. Like that. I feel like that's good. And now you just do the same thing with the other one. Wow! Now I need to glaze the dough with a beaten egg. A beaten egg? It is exactly what it sounds. You need to beat the shit out of the egg. And when you've done that, you need to let the dough rise again for an extra 20 minutes. <sighs> Did I mention why I hate baking? Beautiful. And while it's rising for the second time, you can just uh, turn on your oven to 225 degrees Celsius and then just put it on normal oven. I don't know how you say that in English, but um, the one with the two um, lines. lines. Thank you, honey. Mm -hmm. Ooh. After the 20 minutes are over, you just bake them in the oven and they need to be in there for 12 minutes. Once they're done, you need to turn off your oven and then you need to let the bread cool off completely. Because oh, how many times I've tried to put icing on lukewarm cakes and just seen it just slide right off there. I am going to cheat a little bit and slice them onto a cool plate and then leave it over here right in front of an open window because apparently I have no patience with baking. After they've cooled off for an hour, they feel good to go. And now for the entire reason they're called roast bread. You need rose water for cooking to put in the icing. In Denmark, you can get these at most Helseboutiker, directly translated health stores. Don't know what you call that in English. Most recipes tell you to put two tablespoons of this into the icing, but since this tend to have a bit of a perfumey aftertaste, I am only going to put one tablespoon in. Um, it's personal preference um, and I don't remember Rosenbrodel from my childhood to smell much like this anyway. No. So um, one tablespoon if you want to do it exactly like me. You need 200 grams of powdered sugar for the icing. Again, with the I am not the most patient person when it comes to baking, pray for the icing. Uh, I tend to put way too much water in. So one tablespoon of the rose water. Again, I don't want mine to have a perfumey aftertaste. There. And then we need water for the rest. 
I'm also hungry too, so that's not a good good combination. Impatient and hungry. Okay. And then you just chuck it on there like there's no tomorrow. And if you've done it right, it will kind of fall into place itself. I remember the ones from my childhood to be just smothered in icing. You know, when you're a kid, you don't really mind that. You can just eat the entire bowl of sugar and you'll be fine. I feel like as an adult, you'll get sick. I am happy with that. And if you've never seen Rosenbrot before, even as a Dane, this will look weird. Um, but uh, I assure you, it's heavenly if it's anything like uh, the ones I had as a child. What are you doing? I'm hungry and impatient. <laughs> this is how it should look. I want to have a bite. Mm. Mm. Good. Mm. It doesn't taste exactly like I'm five. But it smells exactly like I'm five, so I'm happy. Close enough. Close enough. We are almost there. So if you really like like fluffy British um, cake yourself, this is the shit. Right now it's just me eating on camera. Nothing more. So. Really, that, that, that's it. Now I'm going to eat way too much of this and have a great evening indoors. We see you in the next video.